All right, we are making poutine today because that is what you guys voted for. Ah, oh, did I ping the Discord? No, I didn't. Damn it. Thank you. Okay. There. I'm Ella. How? You're in London yet? Okay, yeah. We're doing cooking stream today. You guys voted on poutine. So we're going to do poutine. Um, we're following this recipe. I didn't find a video. It's just a written recipe. So hopefully... I won't fuck up too hard. So, I need six ounces of cheese curds right here. Unfortunately, my dad froze them, so they're frozen right now. I don't know why they froze it, but they froze it. So, I have frozen cheese curds. Um... I need four large baking potatoes. What's considered large? I don't have large ones. One, two, three. These are small, right? Four. I always do like. Ew, that's a rotten apple. I don't know, like seven. Well, I'll just mm, use it all. We'll see. Four large potatoes. Chinese New Year's will be cool since London has a huge Chinatown. Oh, that's cool. Okay, gravy. I'm not doing any of this. So, this bag is what my dad uses to make gravy. Let's, uh, let's read it. What even is it? How does it work? This is the bag. Preparation. Heat four liters of water. Do not let boil. Turn off heat. Add gravy mix gradually, stirring briskly. Turn on heat. Stir briskly until smooth and thick. One to two minutes. Yeah, Chinese New uh, Poutine's my favorite Chinese New Year's meal. Oh, I'm not. Um. No. Oh God, I guess I'm deep frying my fries. My parents just assumed I was frying them, so I guess, oh god, okay, we gotta search up how to deep fry fries, I don't know how to deep fry fries. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'm gonna have to search that up. Anyways, to so make french, oh wait, I have to search up how to make french fries. They ain't fries if they aren't deep fried, you know what? Fair. I was going to bake them, but I won't. Yeah, I'm going to... Oh, God, I'm actually genuinely nervous about <laughs> using the fryer. I have PTSD. 
Okay, what are the instructions? Washing cup potatoes into quarter inch fries. Soak fries in cold water for at least 30 minutes. Okay, you know what? I need a de different recipe. Maybe I need a different recipe. I hope I will have all the ingredients. Can Canadian poutine deep fried fries. Let's see. Yes, it's an iPad because we got this for free for opening up a bank account. Thank you very much. We, I would never buy an iPad. This is also my parents' iPad. Just saying, okay? Just saying. Um, I am not an apple girl. You stop that. You stop that. Hmm. How do I go back? Okay. Gave you an iPad for opening a bank account? Check your bank account or your local banks and see if they have promotions for opening up banks uh, an account with them. Look, I, like I said, I don't touch this thing, okay? Only during cooking streams, because I don't have a tablet in general. This is our only tablet in the house. Ingredients, vegetable oil for frying, can of beef gravy. Okay, well, I'm going to be making my gravy. Five medium potatoes cut into fries, two cups of cheese curds. Okay, so step one, heat oil in deep fryer or deep heavy skillet to 365 degrees Fahrenheit. While oil is heating, begin to warm gravy. I can't multitask. I'm going to do everything individually. Um... Is my name even Emily? I guess you will never know, actually. You will never know. Step three, place fries into hot oil. Cook until light brown. Eight to ten minutes. Cook fries in batches if necessary to allow them to move, allow, to allow them room to move a little in the oil. Remove to a paper towel line plate to drain. Place fries on a serving platter and sprinkle cheese over them. And then I just pour the gravy on top. Wow, this is actually gonna be so fast. Okay, this doesn't even tell me. Okay, this sucks. Anyway. They don't even tell you to cut the potatoes. Do they just assume? Oh, no, it does say. It says cut into fries. So I don't have to... So wait, what? So with fries, I don't have to... If I deep fry fries, I don't have to soak them in water? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I need a cutting board first and foremost. Eight hour poutine. Um, good chance it might that might happen. People are going to be like, oh my god, why are you using a butcher knife? Oh my god, why are you using, why are you using a big knife? Blah, 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 blah. Every single time I do cooking stream. Shut the fuck up. Do not say jack shit about my knife, okay? Every single time I do a goddamn fucking cooking stream, you motherfuckers are out here like, why are you using this? Why are you using this? It's because it's in my culture, especially since it's Chinese New Year's. I'm especially using this cleaver.
If I'm peeling potatoes, I don't have to wash it, right? <laughs> I don't want to. No, because if I wash the potatoes, it just makes it harder to peel, so I'm not washing it. Okay, there. Um, I'm just gonna peel now. I don't know how many potatoes I should peel. Should I peel it on here? But like, you know, I didn't wash the potatoes, so I don't want to peel it on the cutting board. Eh. What kind of potatoes are these? I don't even know. I should know, considering how I am a potato myself. Potato is this? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, it's so cold. <sighs> like, everyone always says, you're gonna cut yourself. Everyone is always afraid of me cutting myself. But have I've done so many cooking streams now, and I've never once cut myself. Oops. It's a russet potato. It's kind of... Ugh. Oh my god, they're so cold. My hands are freezing. This is the coldest I've been. Okay. Also, cheese curds are freaking expensive. This was on sale. This bag. How many ounces of cheese is this? Oh my god! Best before April 8th, 2024. This expires on my birthday. <laughs> That's funny. Um... This bag has 240 grams of cheese curds, and this was $6 Canadian, and that's on sale. $6 for this bag. And I got two bags. Cheese curds are expensive. Jesus. Ew. Brother, you are fucked up. What is that? Don't worry, I got you with the plastic surgery. Ew, what the? It goes beyond the shallow depths. You are rotten to the core. Ew. Oh, I don't know if I want to. This guy's fucked up. Oh, this guy is fucked up. Okay, I think it's fucked up. I'm not using this one. Ew. Okay, go next. Hopefully these other ones are good. Maybe I'm gonna clean this real quick. My peeler. Now I feel gross after touching that. Blech. Blech. Whew. Ow. No, 
don't tell me you're rotten too. Oh, okay, only a little bit. Just a smidge. Please nowhere else. Okay, just a little bit. It's fine. Just some exterior ugliness that a little bit of carving can't solve. Wow, these potatoes are fucked up. They all look like this. Yeah. Alright, maybe I'll carve a little bit more oh, here, just so that I'm not eating rot. Get all of that out just in case. Okay. Let's do one more at least. Chop it up and then see how. Haha, -ha, sucker, but Dave's nice try. Ark and Millard and whoever else insured that poison poison does not exist in Q. You can take up your complaints with them. Oh, did you add it? Millard? God damn it. I wonder if Ark added it at all. Every single potato I have is blemished. I think this is a lesson that we can all learn just in life in general, guys. Nobody's perfect. You live and you learn it. Even these potatoes got marks on them. <laughs> Okay. Um, how do I cut this into fry shapes? Half it first. Why did I grab the smallest cutting board ever? What is a fry shape? Like this? Is this a fry? This is a thick ass fry. Okay, maybe smaller. Oh my God, I didn't think cutting fries is so, oh, this hard. Whoa, that's so big. Okay, I think maybe if I like cut this in half like this, but like, bam, like that, right? We got four whole, fr uh, wait, five whole french fries. Bam, done. I'm gonna cut this in half again. Pretty thing, you know what? Whatever. No one's ever complained about a huge french fry before. Like, no one. Have you? You probably haven't. Oh my god, do I want to? This is pretty thick. I should cut it. Okay, there. 
Do I, how do you make squares? I don't know. It's round. How do you make it square? Oh my god! I thought I was missing a French fry. I was like, where the fuck did this one fry? It was stuck on the knife. Okay. No, these are Athera's french fries. I don't care. Athera's french fries. Oh my god, this boy thick. The damn, she thick. Okay, it's fine. It's fine as long as the flavor is there. That's all that matters. Cut this one. They're all such different sizes. Oh my god. I should cut this. Okay, maybe I should look at some of the thicker ones like this and cut it. Because I realize, yeah, some of these are freaking massive. But like then if you cut it, it becomes too skinny. Oh man, it's so awkward. Like, what about this one? There we go. Eh, okay. So like, what if I do... Oh my god, that is so thin. And then cut this in half. Bam! Like that. Look, I've never cut myself. All y'all are just pussies. You always think I'm going to cut myself, but I've never cut myself out of all my cooking streams. Is my cutting board glass? I don't know. Does it hurt your ears? I apologize if it hurts your ears. Ooh. These ones are decent. Oh god, that one's way too skinny. Oh god, and these are pretty thick. Oh, look at this. Should I cut this in half? Did I finish? Yeah, I finished the chicken cuts. And, oh my god. But if I cut that in half, then it's going to be way too skinny compared to the other ones. Fuck. Oh my god, it's so awkwardly bit. Oh my god, whatever. You think maybe frying them will lower the size of the fries? Is that how it works? They just get smaller as you fry it. I hope that's the thing. Good enough. So far we got this bowl. I think I'm gonna need more. I need more potatoes. I can grab a different cutting board if this cutting board is killing ears. Just let me know. Ooh, this one is so thin. Oh, gosh. Okay. We don't need to be perfect, okay? This is what... Should I... No. This is what we learned while painting Bob Ross. 
We do not have to be perfect. Every potato is unique. And that's all that matters. Hmm. Cut this one like this. And then cut it in half. Oh my god. They're all so different. I don't know how much potatoes I should make. Okay, I want to make it for three people. So, like that's one bowl. Maybe like, well, that's one and a half people right there. I guess I should do more potatoes. I don't know how much gravy to make. Cause my proportioning is just weird. You know what, for the most part, I'm winging poutine. Um, I mean, how hard can it be? It's just gravy, cheese curds, and french fries. It's like, I don't think... I think I just wing it. This is going to be mostly an Aetherius recipe. So, that's how you know it's going to turn out delicious. Because we are not confined to the boundaries of text on a website, but instead we can cook freely in the boundaries of a theorist's mind, which is limitless. So this may be tastier than Costco. That's what I'm saying. So far, Costco has the best poutine that I've ever had. Everywhere else is, is too salty. Costco is like perfect. But only if they use uh, beef for their poutine. Vegetarian poutine is so bad. So, so, so bad. Look at this, I'm getting faster. Oh my god. Good job, girl. Phenomenal. I've decided to not cut. I'm just gonna cut the potatoes once in half and then I don't have, I'm not gonna like quarter them, you know? Oh my god, I'm moving so much quicker because I'm doing that. Oh, this is tiny. I mean, mean. Oh, this one might be a bad potato. Hope I wash those. Why do you need to wash it if you're peeling? I'm gonna wash the bowls. The peel potatoes, but why you gotta wash it pre-peel? What does washing pre-peel do? Other than make the peel harder. It's harder to peel wet skin. Oops. The icky stuff still gets on the inside. 
that's why you're, you wash this, you wash this bowl. Now you peel it unwashed and then you wash the peeled stuff. Like I hope, you know, so then the insides, it get this is just going to get washed regardless. I feel like it's a lot harder to um, peel wet skin. Oops, this one's really thick. Oh my god. Oops. Yeah, I don't have a timer on cooking stream. I couldn't get it to work, so... Um, like, it's running on my computer, but it's not visible right now. Subs and whatnot will be added. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> this condensed milk just came up. Uh, flying out. My fridge was trying to attack me. It's like, no more potatoes for you. Stop. Ew, I got potato juices on my glasses. How the heck did that happen? $5 if I eat a potato raw. Man, how cheap do you think I am? No, I'm not doing that for $5. You eat a potato for $5 raw. Can you see me peeling? I'm gonna move this over here. I think like two bowls of potato fries might be good. I don't know. Maybe like this one, one more, and then I'm making for three people. I don't. I mean, maybe even just two people. I don't know if my sister's eating. And I mean, she's not here anyway, so... By the time she comes, the poutine will be cold, so I don't know if she wants to even eat that. I'm not going to make too much. Ooh, my hands are freezing. Oops. Good enough, good enough. Oh my god, I thought I cut myself. I didn't. <laughs> How funny would that be if I cut myself after what I said to you guys? I guess I would have felt it if I cut myself. Oh my god, we're getting so fast at this. Oh my fuck. Okay, that was not half. I'm gonna cut this in half again. Oops, I put my knife in here. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. One, two. 
two, three, one, two, Bam. Two bowls of french fries. I think this should be enough for three people, I hope. Now, here's your favorite part, Haven. Let's wash it. Do I use soap? I, I, I brought some up. Just kidding. I don't... I don't know why that other recipe called for soaking it for 30 minutes. Why do I need to soak it for 30 minutes? Oops. Should I search another recipe on how to fry potatoes? Okay, that should be clean enough. Look at how thick some of these boys are. Well, this one's actually kind of perfect. I'm just concerned because of what happened last stream. I'm like scared of the fryer, deep fryer. Oh, I should have started heating my fries up. Oh, I don't even know like how to grab my fries out. Like what do I use? Oh, I have to dry these? I have to dry my uh, potatoes. Okay. Oh my God, that's gonna be a lot of drying. a lot of drying. Oh wait, let me throw out the peels. Put this potato away. Oh my gosh, I actually haven't eaten yet. Uh, it is 3.19 p.m. and I have not eaten yet. Because I was doing Renee rap quizzes <laughs> instead of doing cooking stream. <laughs> do I regret anything? No, I do not. I'm saying, I'm, I'm going to say I 100%ed poison poison, okay? Parentheses does not count. I did. No one sings the parentheses. That's not even Renee sings that. That's backup vocals. Hi, filthy. Okay. Heat oil in deep fryer to 365 degrees 
Fahrenheit. Where do I plug my oil in? Oh, here. Oh, fuck. 365. We're using this. This is where I fried my phone. 365. Like that. Bam. Um, place fries into hot oil. See, this sucks. It doesn't tell you anything else. How to deep fry fries. Begin by soaking the sliced potato strips in a bowl for about 30 minutes to draw out starch. Oh my gosh, should I just do that? Thirty minutes is a long time to soak. I'm so hungry. That's so much soaking. What the hell is the double fry method? I'm going to see what this... Um, pat potatoes dry, then add them to a preheated oil and fry for five minutes. Allow potatoes to cool before frying them a second time. Then blot with a paper towel and salt before serving. Double frying guarantees a wonderful crunch that will keep you coming back for more. Okay, let me do one fry first and then see how that goes and then fry it maybe a second time. I still want to figure out how to... Um, oh my god, I have to clean this iPad. I want to figure out how to... Like, bring the fries out. Ooh, I guess using this, we can use this to like scoop up the fries, right? Bum, 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 bum. I'm so hungry. I, I actually need to eat. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to eat poutine, but like, like I said, I haven't... I haven't eaten yet today, and I'm getting really hangry. Let me, while we wait for the potatoes to um, soak, let me set my timer to 27 minutes. I'm so hungry. I'm just gonna have cereal. <laughs> Welcome to the cooking stream. We're eating cereal for today's cooking stream. Well, first of all, grab yourself whatever your favorite cereal is. Unfortunately, this actually is not my favorite cereal. Um, this is like pumpkin spice Cheerios that were a dollar each box or something like that. So that's why we have it. It's our favorite because it was super cheap. Okay, so now, depending on your situation, you will either do cereal first or milk first. I will do milk first if I'm going back downstairs to eat my cereal, and then I will bring this whole bag with me. Now, I understand most of you 
consider that maybe a little bit psychotic, but you have to understand that a lack of milk or like you cannot bring milk downstairs into your bedroom um, because milk goes bad, but this doesn't go bad. So if you pour milk first into your bowl and then you bring this downstairs, well, now you have, now you, that, that just ensures that you don't have to come back upstairs to the kitchen, right? But if you were to do cereal first and then milk, now you don't know how much, like you might not have enough milk, because you can't over pour milk into the cereal. I like to have, I don't know what I'm saying. But either way, it just doesn't work, okay? When you're downstairs, you do milk first. And when you're, uh -uh, when I'm upstairs, I do cereal first. You know? No, you agree with me. You said you understand. That means you also agree. End of conversation. Anyways, my favorite cereal actually is uh, Rice Krispie, though. Rice Krispie is the best. See? I don't really like having a whole lot of milk in here. Just a little bit to coat the cereal to ensure crunchiness. And also, yeah. Oh God, why does it look like I have jaundice? <laughs> John Dessel. Rice Krispies has no flavor. No, it does. Your taste buds are just too weak to taste the flavor. Problem is most cereals are too sweet. That's why I like Rice Krispie. I mean, even this cereal is really sweet. Um, well, like I said, they were cheap, therefore we're eating that. Cheap food tastes better to me. I used to really like those like yellow balls. I don't remember what they were called, but they were like yellow balls and quite sweet. Or Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms is straight diabetes. Is it kicks? Let me see. Yeah. I don't think it was called kicks. Maybe it's called something else in Canada, but like it looks the same, yeah. Am I making a feast for Chinese New Year's Eve? I'm making poutine, so yeah. Dried special K. Random, f f random info. I had a Maple Story X called Special K 1995. I don't know if he still exists. <laughs> Mmm. I think it's called Corn Pops. 
I think that's what I used to eat. Corn pops. Yeah, yeah, corn pops. I haven't had them in forever. It's really sweet, right? I don't know. I, I feel like the reason why I like Rice Krispies is because it's the only cereal that isn't loaded with diabetes. Get a third bowl for soaking. Huh? Oh, no, I'm not yet done with the soup. Nom, nom, nom. I should just make cereal and call this the cooking stream. <laughs> That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Let's go back to Maple Story or Monster Hunter. Sorry, it's probably my crunching probably loud. I should have told you this is also the ASMR stream. So, cooking stream and ASMR stream in one. <laughs> What is the purpose of this dream? Brother, what's the purpose of any stream? None of us streamers are curing cancer. What do you think the purpose is? I've just been eating cereal every for 50 days straight. Hi, Chris. What's the purpose of life? When you're just gonna die at the end anyways, what's the point of living? Oh, I had a whole entire, like, spiel about this, Chris, like, five minutes ago. If you rewind the VOD, I give you an entire explanation. <clears throat> I thought you... Oh, wait, you still play Palworld? World? I poured some milk. 
Uh, it's just so sweet. Dude, that cereal, man. I need to, like, balance it out. I just have some regular milk now, just to drink. Did they update Pal World? Or something? I'll play more of it when there's, uh, when they smooth the game out more. I'll fix some important bugs, so that's good. Okay, my potatoes have been soaking for 15 minutes. Hatch rate was way lower than the indicator. Oh. When I was when the, I was playing, I felt like the catch rate was higher than indicated. I kept on catching like pretty low percentages. Okay. Hanger has been cured. So, I don't know how much put gravy I should make. <clears throat> Heat four liters of water. Okay. And let's return, let's resume cooking. Stream. Bam. No, I did not get far. I didn't even finish the tutorial. <laughs> Whoa, that's a four liters of what? One liter is four cups. I need 12 cups of water. I don't think this pot... Well, I guess I don't have to have four liters of water. Oh my god, this pot is like not... There's, no, this pot is so tiny. I need more gravy. Do I have a different pot though? Shoot. Uh, I guess we don't. It's not like we soak fries in gravy. Maybe it'll be okay. I mean, it's gonna. Mm. No, I think I need a bigger pot. I'll just grab a way too big pot. You like that? You like it more than Pokemon? That's how I felt about Dinkum. I like Dinkum more than Animal Crossing, and I loved Animal Crossing, but once I played Dinkum, I realized all the flaws with uh, Animal Crossing. Oops. Feels like Animal Crossing 2 too. Um, 
Well, Animal Crossing... I wouldn't really compare Animal Crossing to a survival craft game. Is that enough poutine? Ah, uh, gravy? I mean, probably, but like... I'm gonna do one more cup. Let's just do one, li one liter of poutine. One liter of poutine. Do I really need one liter of poutine for three people? Hmm. But maybe it shrinks when you add powder, you know? Because it, like, congeals. It thickens. Maybe we just do this. Okay, so I gotta boil it. And then... Add the mix slowly. It doesn't even say how much of the mix I should add. It just says add mix slowly. Oops. The whole pack. I feel like my dad's been using that pack forever. Though. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to. Don't want to boil it. How long till it's done? Well, I have nine more minutes to soak the potatoes for. Um, actually, let's read about frying or deep frying my fries. I'm so surprised you guys chose poutine. Why did you guys pick poutine? It's like the easiest meal. It's literally gravy, fries, and I put cheese curds on top. Like, that's it. This is trio beef gravy. Because Canada. <laughs> we had so many other more, like, intricate meals that you guys could have voted on. You guys voted on this. Well, I'll take it, though. Thanks for keeping it easy for me. <clears throat> okay. What if I boil the water and then I let it sit? Because I still have to pat my potatoes and stuff. Pour the package of mix? A whole thing? Okay, my dad's been using this for a very long time now. So I I know for a f like he's already used some of this powder. Look at it, like look at the bag. It it's seen shit. <laughs> this has witnessed my birth probably. <laughs> I don't think I can do a one-to-one -one for that. Let me get some plates ready for my french fries. I'm gonna check the expiration. Now look, okay, so I ate expired Sriracha mayo on my sushi. Was it yesterday or the day before? Oh, it was the day before. I thought I was going to have problems with my stomach, and I didn't. And that sriracha mayo expired in November. And then also the unagi sauce that I had on my sushi as well expired in October. And I'm surprisingly alive. I have one liter of water in here. 
I don't know how many gallons that is. I'm sorry. You're going to have to do the conversion. <laughs> I got my paper towel and stuff laid out there. My potatoes just gotta soak for another five minutes. Then I rinse it out, get all that starch out, and then I think I'd like to try the double fry method. Now that I have this like scooper, boop, it'll be easier. Hmm. Oops. I need like an arm sleeve. Mom? Mom? Huh? I had to grab my apron. It's going to be a quarter of the packet, which is 95 grams of powder if I have a scale. Oh. Uh. What if I just go by, like, feel <laughs> instead? <laughs> Oops. Okay, since we're deep frying, gotta wear protection. Always wear protection. I'm gonna wear my, my apron. My mom got this from China. What is this? A popo ring? Popo ring! Oh, that's okay, Millard. I'm just making poutine, anyways. It's nothing special. Bam. Okay, we got the fit, we got the the apron on. Now we gotta get the arm sleeves on as well. For extra protection, I don't wanna burn myself when I'm like getting my fries out. There's always a VOD too. VOD. You can watch the VOD while I while I'm sleeping when you're at work. Wait, dude, I was wearing this whole fit when I was making my chicken katsu. Bam! Oh my god, and I even got pockets here. Do I have a pocket here? Oh no. I even got pockets here. Shee. I was just wearing it when I was frying. Well, to be fair, I only put these on when I started frying my chicken katsu. And you guys did not see the chicken katsu finish <laughs> because of reasons. So that's probably why. One cup. What's QT stand for? Oh, 
Oh. I don't use quartz. Wait, so it's like a one to one? One quart. You know what? I'm gonna yellow it. Fuck it. I have to dry my potatoes. They're done soaking. Soak one more time. Just a quick rinse. How do I fully dry potatoes? That seems hard. That seems very hard. a little millet. Your nap ruined your sleep? What did I tell you about napping past 7 p.m.? What did I tell you? This is a fish, by the way, for tonight's dinner. I guess. Like, how do I fully dry this? Wait, in hindsight, this is a lot of potatoes. Holy fuck. Wait, I, guys... I messed up. I think I made too many potatoes. Oh my god, three people cannot eat this much? Oh, fuck. Oh my god. No, three people. Oh my god, that's so much. Oh, it's two giant plateful worths. Fries for a midnight snack. Hi, Jonah. Hi, Mikey. Have this whole week, y'all. Everyone's just having sleeping problems, man. Y'all have to not nap past 7 p.m. You gotta suffer. That's what I would do when I would work in the office. I just suffer. Or nap before 7. You just woke up. Well, I guess that works too. That might be. Oh, I feel like such a waste. I'm using so much. How do you fully pat dry? I feel like it will never be fully dry. How is that pot? Like, it's still slimy. Is it okay if it's slightly wet? I hope. No, naps don't add to sleep. That's not how it works. Water plus oil equal kaboom. Wait, how? Wait, you guys are fucking scaring me. How? How do I? Wait, how do I fully like dry this? I don't know. Am I just gonna have to use a lot of paper towels? But I don't want to create a bomb in the house. 
Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna use up my whole paper towel roll. Jesus. Mikey, please help! I don't want to kill my family! I dropped a potato. It'll be a little wet, it'll be fine. Dropping fries everywhere. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, I should put the dried fries in here. Well, now I regret making so much. <laughs> I gotta dry so much. I feel like an Asian mom right now with my cooking attire. <laughs> okay, maybe poutine isn't as easy as I thought it would be. God damn, look at all this paper towel I have to use. Or I air dry them. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty dry in my city. I think we could let it dry in the air. Bring it outside. <laughs> Oops. Oops, it's so slimy. Stick him in the oven for a few minutes. You want me to turn on the oven right now? Preheat my oven or heat my oven up and everything? It's so much work. Oh! <laughs> Title. Li Hao, title. Okay, now I'll put it back on the plate for extra drying. Ah, uh, ah, uh, extra drying, ah. Uh. Oh my god, I feel like such a big waste. I don't like this. Hmm. Okay. See, I would open the oven, but I just have so much crap in my oven. So wet. I think it's getting pretty dry though. Okay, I'm gonna get a new paper towel. Well, maybe my cooking attire will save me from the booming, you know? I think I need more than two plates. Holy crap, why did I make so many fries? My mom's gonna be like, what the hell? We had a drawer full of potatoes, what happened?
панели. Since batter is way more water. Like, yeah, actually the chicken katsu wasn't bad and I had eggs, but I don't know if egg is different from, like, water, you know? Because my chicken katsu is very wet. Where's my plate? Oh, it's here. So let's just say, let me portion this out. Three people. This is a whole ass meal. Oh, okay. What if I do like four people? And like, my maybe my dad will eat. He never eats my food. No, my sister is the third person. My dad never eats my food. So what if I do like? Hmm. God, even four people, this is kind of a lot. Oh, uh, uh. hi, Rihanna Magus. I eat cereal. Oh, maybe I will just deep fry. Oh, my God, I have a whole bowl. Of fries I don't need. Oh my. Why does it seem like they keep duplicating? Okay. I'm gonna leave. I'm not gonna fry these fries for now and leave them for now. I'll just fry this amount for now. Jeez. Ugh. Oh my, okay. Okay, well, okay. Okay, I'm not even preheating my oil. Oops. Mom? Mom? What's he just hide off shoes? Yeah, but what's the one? Yeah, but like. I don't know No, we, <laughs> I'm hoping they don't look in the, they don't look in the, um, oh, garbage can. Because, God, there's so much paper towel there. Oops. Oh, 
I'm gonna try the gravy. Am I filthy? Yeah. You need half a paper towel roll to make poutine. Include that in your ingredients list. Okay, turn off heat. Add gravy gradually. Stirring briskly. Turn on heat. Stir briskly. One to two minutes. No, the whisk is fine. My hands are freezing. I need the heat. Alright, I'm just gonna YOLO it. Is that too much gravy then? Probably. That's too much water then. Since I'm not making that much fries. I'm gonna dump some. There's probably still too much gravy. Oh my god, I should have just followed the recipe. I'm winging everything right now. This is horrible. Okay, this will do this much. <sighs> okay. The moment of truth. I'm going to start. It said add gradually, so. I'm just going to add very little by little. Turn off the light. Can you guys see better? No. Oh god, that lighting is horrible. Just turn it off. I don't know, do I just keep adding until it's thick? Oh my god, maybe I should have made less gravy. Ah, oh, I feel like I made too much. Well, funny enough, I will be baking a cake. Uh, not today, though. Oh my god, this is actually a lot of gravy. Shoot, I hope I have enough powder. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Maybe? Should I turn it on low, low? Low, low, low? So I'm gonna think if it's hot? Oh. Never mind, I turn it off. I can't, okay, we keep it off. Um, do I cook this regularly? Dude, I don't cook, period. 
I don't cook anything regularly. I just don't cook. <laughs> This is my first time making poutine. Oh, if it's not, it's not going to thicken if it's not hot. Oh. Look, the package said. Well, I don't know. Okay, you know what? To not let it boil. And then it said, turn off heat, add gravy, mix gradually, stirring briskly. Now turn on heat, stir briskly, until smooth and thick. Okay, maybe, you're right. I'm gonna warm it up. Okay, because like I added a lot of powders, so... I'm just gonna warm it up now and see. Dude, don't say that. I'm making, I have to make a strawberry cake for the baking stream. I hope it's not that hard. Uh, I have tried making Chinese sponge cake a couple times and while delicious, it did not, I mean, it was definitely nothing near the stores. Start quality so much better. So I should let it boil. Yeah, you said bring to a boil. It's not thick when boiling. I need more powder. Okay. I barely have any powder left. <laughs> oh, why is it? Am I not stir? Okay, I got I think it's thickening. Slowly. Oh, yeah, it's definite. Really thickening. Oh. Once it cools again, thank you. Thank you, chefs. Still pretty watery, but it's get. I think we're good. It's like getting there. Taste. See that thick bubbling? Mmm. Tastes like gravy. Ooh, that is super thick.
Let it rest. Okay. Oh my god, what if I added too much powder? Should I leave it on the heat? This doesn't even have water. Maybe I should have listened to Wansom and I should have like <laughs> put a proportion amount of powder in with the water. Yeah, the Okay, now the fries. Um, I'm frying the potatoes. I cut my own fries. Okay, so I soaked my potatoes. I let them dry. Add them to a pot of preheated oil and fry for five minutes. Allow the potatoes to cool before frying them a second time. Then blot with a paper towel. Okay, but... What do I fry them at? Oh! There's steps here! Heat in deep fried oil. 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, shoot. I did 365. Oops. Heat oil in deep fryer to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Gently add potatoes to hot oil and fry for five minutes. Stirring and flipping potatoes occasionally. I'm at home. Well, I don't know. I'm using this thingy. Well, it says, or in a deep fry, or a large saucepan to 275 Fahrenheit. It says, large saucepan to 275 Fahrenheit. So what, I should do three, 350? Use slotted spoon to transfer to paper towel or let cool completely. Because I'm going to fry it a second time. Oh, no, no, no. So guys, this is why we're doing this. So the first time we're deep frying them for five minutes for 275 and then we let them cool and then we're frying them a second time. We're frying them a second time at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's why. I'm just going to follow the recipe, okay? For this one, I'm not listening to chat. I'm following recipe. I already cut my potatoes. I, uh, my phone is so far away from the deep fryer. You guys have no idea. I just zoomed in. Okay. So there is no way I can drop my phone in.
<clears throat> oh, God. Okay, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I am terrified. The oil's already at 275. Actually, I took the lid off and now. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna fry it three times. We're gonna spread it out. Do I have to put the lid on or no? No, right? Yeah, I have my timer. Well, it said stir occasionally. No lid. In that case, I'm going to move it away. For now. Am I putting anything? No, it's poutine's just gravy, cheese, and that's it. Nothing else. Nothing else. No, I'm just. No, I'm not gonna put the rest in. I'm just gonna do it three times. So that they have space to like move around and whatever. Dude, I don't mind the time. There's no timer on the stream right now, but I have like... How long has this been, has this stream been going for? But I have like 10 hours of subathon left. I have all the time in the world right now. Moving them around a little bit so they can cook. Oops. Look, the counter is down. The timer is going down. I just can't put it on my stream, the cooking stream, because it just wasn't working. And it's just not shown. It is being ticked down right now, though. Scott for your school kids? Wait, like your whole class? Whole school? What the heck? That's a lot of cooking. Shouldn't you be cooking right now? That sounds like hours and hours and hours of work. 
How big is your school? Military boarding school. So, I mean, only 60 people is still a lot to feed. Dude, take some of the fries I cut. I cut extra fries. <laughs> I, made, I made poutine. I cut enough fries for 60 people when I just wanted it for three people. <laughs> The french fries look very white still, but I guess because we're double frying it, that's fine. So I'm going to turn the heat up to 350 after. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Start bringing them up, kids. How do I, should I just, okay. Wow, they still look very raw. Well, actually, I guess a second fry will do them. They'll be beautiful with the second fry. Costco, dude, if you ever come to Canada, go to Costco, get the poutine there. It's six dollars Canadian for like a massive portion. You saw how many fries I made? Actually, first of all, see, look at these guys. I don't know if you guys can see it, but bam. There's the fries. I'm gonna spread them out a bit so that they can cool off before going in for a second dip. They gotta cool off before they go in again, apparently. Six minutes on this batch? Why? How does it look if I turn it off? You guys like light on or light off? Light on is so ugly. done potatoes. The ones we're just letting cool off. I wonder if I should put them in the Canadian winter outside. Let them cool. <laughs> I assume when they say let the fries cool off, they don't mean the cold cold.
Think about the McDonald's fries. Frozen and refried. Oh my god, actually. Oh, oh, I guess that makes... Oh, so they do the double fry tech. I'm making McDonald's fries right now with the double fried tech. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I will bring them outside. <laughs> I don't know. For a fast cool off. So I learned why, um, you know how you're supposed to, before putting food into the fridge again, um, when, like you shouldn't put hot food into the fridge, otherwise it'll go bad or something. It's because that hot food warms up the whole fridge. So you know what? That's perfect that it's, it's winter right now because the whole world is my fridge. And my little batch of potatoes cannot warm up the whole world. So I'll just throw them outside. It can't warm up the whole world, but hopefully my fries will warm up the tummies of my mommy and my sister and my own tummy. <laughs> As my potato cell. I don't know how that filter would work. A filter green screens everything except for my face. You would see nothing. Also, that's pretty morbid. It's very morbid. Time to bring them out. How my cheese curds doing? They're like slowly unfreezing. That's what you mean. This is so much less scary than y'all made it seem. Ah. Dude, no, my phone is like so far. Do you see? I don't know if you can gauge the distance based off of how long it takes my hand to travel from the fryer to the phone, but there's no way, even if the phone tips over, it's gonna fall in the fryer. I learned my lesson. It's bubbling. No, it's bubbling. Can you guys just like not see it? Yeah, I can cut into my potatoes pretty easily, like with my spoon, so I think when I fry it a second time, it'll be fine. Can't 
put phone closer. <laughs> I I learned my lesson. All right. I've learned my lesson. You know what? Upon further inspection, this doesn't look like a whole lot of fries, does it? Should I have fried more? Oh god, I don't know. Why? Well, here's the thing, like, this should be... Here's the thing, here's the thing. Uh, my parents are making actual Chinese New Year's dinner after this, so this should just be a supplement to the Chinese New Year's dinner, so we'll be having Chinese food plus poutine on top. So, like, this shouldn't be a whole meal anyways. No, I don't know what they're making, but I know it involves a fish. Here is said fish in question. What type of fish is it? I have no idea. Look at these fries. Ooh. I don't know what they're doing. Oh my god, this lighting is horrible. Salt them while they're piping hot. Should I just use sea salt? Perfect. chat invited don't you got your own Chinese New Year's <laughs> dinner to go to evil <laughs> oh let me read okay so use slider spoon and transfer potatoes to hot to paper tower line plate let cool completely Heat oil again, but this time to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Add potatoes a and fry a second time until golden brown. This will take five to six minutes. So I'm gonna fry for another five to six minutes, and then remove from deep fryer. Blot with paper towel. Sprinkle with salt to serve. Cool. Oh, well. You can still celebrate Chinese New Year's. Lunar New Year. Just like how I'm not white, but I celebrate Christmas. Okay, I am going to throw my, I'm going to transfer my f fries into a metal bowl because I don't want these glass plates to break or anything. I don't know if that's a, yeah, well I don't, I mean, well anyways, 
I'm going to transfer it to a metal bowl and then throw it all outside and let it chill a bit. Wait, this sucks. Ooh, can I not change this? Oh, here, okay. Oops, I got oil on my phone stand again. I'm gonna have to wash my phone stand later. Or is that leftover oil? That might be leftover oil from last time. I thought I washed it. Alright. Let's, uh, throw it into this bowl. And then I'm just going to throw it outside. Is it crispy? Not yet. We haven't gotten to that part yet. I didn't even know double frying was a thing. Well, we learned so much on these cooking streams. Now, like, in the future, if I ever have children, I will know to double fry my fries. And now when you guys have children, you can double fry your fries as well. We are all learning so much. Like, I don't want the fries to be too cold, right? Before I put them back into the deep fryer. So I'm just gonna leave them outside for a little bit. Dries them on the outside. Is that a good thing? All right, I'm gonna put these bad boys outside. Oh, and hopefully no birds come eat them. Can you imagine? I go outside to no fries because they've all been eaten by like some fry gremlins. <laughs> little trolls that have been living under my deck waiting for me to leave my fries out. <laughs> Again? Keep the fit. Bam, bam. With the red socks. 
and the red Crocs and the red shirt. Bam! I am so Chinese New Year's Eve ready. Salé! Am I right? These help fight off the splashback from the oil. Aww, I'm ready to karate chop all the splashback away. Like, no! You, you stay back in there! Eh. You ain't hurting me today, oil! Yeah, there's no, there's no foot sub goal anymore. It wasn't scammed. It was requested by Jonah, okay? Because Jonah's not a creep. It is possible for my phone to drop. Oh, you know what? I want to throw this paper towel away since it's all oily now. God, I have used so much paper pow powell, paper powell, paper towel today. I feel disgusting. I gotta learn how to like be less wasteful when cooking. Find a better, you know what, next time when I want to dry my potatoes, I'm just gonna use a hair dryer and I'm just gonna blow them dry. That's what I'm gonna do. Wait, nine hours is still a lot. Dude, we're going into day 51. Where's the counter? I can I get it to work on my uh, my phone, but we had 12 hours, almost exactly 12 hours on the clock. So just subtract whatever, however long the stream has been going for. 12 minus stream time. It was working for the last cooking stream. I'm not sure why I can't get it to work on this cooking stream. Start heating the oil to 360 ish or whatever. <laughs> Wait, we're not trying to hit day 100, are we? Oh, let me look at my poutine. I mean, not my poutine, my gravy. Ooh, that is so thick. Do I need to add more water? No, I think I need a little bit more water after. Oh my god, and I was over here thinking I had too much, like, powder. Bruh. Not a gravy expert. Oh, it's all lens here, law. Yeah, hydrophobia. I was saying, don't. 
我整到，跟住我再揸落第二次咯。My mom was questioning the double fry method. What? Oh my god, my mom saw the fries and she's like, Why does it look like that? It's so skinny. <laughs> she called my fries skinny, which they are. Wedges, I guess, but like, god damn, she's questioning everything about my poutine right now! <laughs> okay, I still feel a little bit of warmth. I'm gonna keep them outside a bit more. I'm happy to report that uh, no fry gremlins have stolen any. Well, my mom has said that all of my previous foods were good, and surely she wasn't lying, right? Right? Surely. <laughs> okay, guys, let me tell you. I've made. Actually, I don't remember my HelloFresh meals. What have I made on Cook? On stream before with cooking streams. I sure don't remember. Well, we know I made chicken katsu, now poutine. Oh, I made bud jjigae, Japanese curry, sushi. I've made. Oh, I don't remember what all the HelloFresh stuff were because they were so fancy. Like turkey meatballs and salads. I've done, I know I did five meals. I've made five HelloFresh meals and then now I've made five non HelloFresh. Tommy, thanks for the follow. I've done 10 cooking streams. Whoa! You can basically say I'm a professional chef now. Right? I've made fried... <laughs> I've made fried uh, S23 Ultras. Yes. Don't recommend that. <gasps> Balut. I made Balut. I've made steak on stream. You know what? Technically, I did the spicy noodle challenge, which means I've made instant noodles as well. I'm, you can basically call me like a cooking streamer. Uh, that's right. I do a little bit of variety. I do cooking. I do Maple Story, Monster Hunter, and the occasional Call of Duty. And whatever other game. Pal World soon, Tam. Someday. Acting? Oh my god. I still think about how stupid it was when when I was in the... You know, again, you know, I gotta say this again. I was in episode... Season 1, episode 2 of The Last of Us. Timestamp 1 minute 42 seconds on the left side in the green hijab, bay shirt, blue jeans... And I don't remember the color of shoes. Mm -hmm. For six whole seconds. Six whole seconds. You know? And I'm over here. I guess I can reenact it all, you know? I'm over here walking, pretending like I'm talking to someone. I'm like, peas and potatoes, peas and potatoes, peas and potatoes, peas and potatoes. <laughs> That's right. She's an actor, Your Honor. All right, oh, I have to do a second painting stream too. I have to do a second painting stream because we did hit that sub goal and I'm gonna have to bake, I'm baking. Next time you see us in this kitchen, 
We'll be making a strawberry cake. Strawberry cake. One minute 42. Episode 2. Season 1. I'm going to check on my fries. Oh, I hear them birds chirping. They're like, I want that. I want those fries. Those skinny fries, Emily. Don't listen to your mother. They look delicious. (laughs) Okay, but like, to be fair... This one is a little bit flimsy, and this one is really skinny. <laughs> to be fair. Well. Well, they're, I, they actually, why am I saying this one and that one? They all look like that. Okay, it's time to put them back in. Just um, a little bit at a time. We got it set to about right there. Oops. Num, 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 num. Num, num, num. Am I supposed to leave the ladle in the oil? I'm just like, I don't know, is there any consequences to this? This is metal. This is also metal. Should be okay, right? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put the fries. I'm just gonna pour some fries out like this. Can't be worse than a phone. True that. True that. Okay, you know what? These two fries don't wanna come off, so we're just gonna do this for now. Five minutes. Oops. And then this next batch of fries be around yay size fish. More paper towel. (sighs) I wish the lighting was better. Sorry, guys. Really? Yeah. Nate, welcome back at the 13 months. Thank you. This is the poutine. Welcome, welcome back. Don't worry. 
timer did add that because I have it ticking on my computer right now, so that was added. Don't you worry. No, that lighting sucks. So, I'm gonna salt this as soon as it comes out. Oh my god, how much should I salt? Just like pinch it with my fingers? Like, I don't know. I'm scared of over salting. Too much salt ruins life. Use feeling. What if I have no feelings? I'm dead inside. Ooh, it's getting brown. It's getting brown. Look at that. Nom nom nom. Ooh. I think five minutes might be good since my potatoes are pretty thin. What time is it? 5 p.m. Oh god, I have to let my parents use the kitchen. I'm gonna make dinner. Okay, well, in that case, I'm just gonna. Oh, they're getting really. How brown do I want them? Look at how brown they are. Should we keep them in? Take them out? We only have one more minute on the timer. I'm sure another minute won't kill it. More, more brown. And some fries are very brown and some others aren't. I feel like baking would have been so much easier. I hope deep frying makes it taste better. This is a lot more work. Ooh, that is looking quite beautiful. Oh my goodness. Ooh, these look good. No. Why is it always two fries that don't want to go in? You're making large batches and trying to fry something else as well. well. I purposely made my batch smaller 
because I don't want people to eat too much. My oil is like 360 or higher ish. You don't go, ma. Because I'm sensible, right? Or am I tied off? Or am I tied off? Tied off. Oh, my thing, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, you got go. Oh, my mom reminded me to mix salted, salted. Oh, I have to pat it dry and stuff, too. Ugh. Pat away the oils. That should be good enough. Oh, I don't know how much salt to use. Just a little bit. Oh my god, look at this spoon. I'm just gonna use my finger. I don't, I feel like I'm barely putting any on. Oh my god, I don't know. I guess I could try one. Like, the gravy will add flavor too, I think. So. Um, let me try one. Mmm, that's pretty good. Damn. Oh my god. Like, that's good. <laughs> it's not really crispy. I mean, kind of. Okay, I don't want to over-salt it. Okay, let's just say this one's done. 